Okay, so let's talk about setting up DNS forwarders and conditional forwarders. Now I'm going to start by opening up the DNS manager. And so come down here to DNS and that'll fire up my manager here real quick. All right. So forwarders and conditional forwarders. We'll start with a forwarder. Now a forwarder is a place you want to send a DNS query to if you don't want this machine to connect directly to the root hint servers on the internet. So for some reason you don't want this thing communicating to the internet, you want to send it to another forwarder to communicate on the internet. So for that, you right click on the server and you go to properties. And this tab right here is your forwarders. So all you have to do here to get this to work is to edit your forwarders and I don't want any of these ones here actually um, so I can delete all of those and then I'm just gonna add the forwarder that I want so I'm gonna put in a forwarder and I'm just gonna make one up here 192.168 whoops hey get rid of all of this 192.168.4.10 okay and then that's going to be my forwarder now this tells me it can't validate it and that's because that doesn't actually exist right so I just made up a random IP address you'd actually put in the IP address of your DNS server that you want to forward it to uh, that you want to use to forward to the internet and then it'll identify the FQDN and it'll say yes it validated it instead of this timeout occurred because it couldn't contact it and then that would change to a little green check mark. And that's going to say, hey, this is a valid forwarder. And so now what's going to happen, now that I have this forwarder in place, is when this machine, this DNS server, gets a request for a, a DNS query that it doesn't have, for so for a zone that it doesn't control, then it will forward it to this IP address. And then this device, in this case the 4.10, would then forward that on to the... Uh, root servers or additional forwarders or wherever it needed to go. The point is that this one now is no longer trying to run those recursive lookups. It's just sending them straight to this particular device. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that because I don't want that to stay. All right. So that's what forwarding does, right? So I don't want this one to go to the internet. I want something else to. Now, a conditional forwarder that forwarder just works for any request that is not in a lookup zone, a forward lookup zone that this one controls. Now a conditional forwarder works the same way except different. So I'm going to go to my conditional forwarders and I'm going to right click and do a new conditional forwarder. Now this we set a conditional forwarder on a domain. So let's say I want any requests that go to yvcc.local I want them to go to 172.16.4.13. And so same thing, trying to validate, blah, blah, blah. Um, what this does is this says, all right, let me hit OK here. If we get a request for a machine in yvcc.local, then send it to this particular IP address. Only send ones to that address if they are a if they are for yvcc.local if they're for anything else go ahead and treat them normally use a forwarder if you have one use root hints if you don't and go out to the internet and do recursive lookups till you find it so that's what a conditional forwarder does now we use a regular forward I'll go ahead and delete this one right now you use a regular forwarder when you don't want this DNS server to connect to the internet you want somebody another DNS server to do it for this one so that's where you use a forwarder you use a conditional forwarder if you're wanting to do something say with a company that you work with a lot and you send a lot of traffic to them so you want to use a conditional forwarder that goes straight to their domain servers Another common instance of this, let's say two companies merge. So you've got company A, company B. They merge, you put a wide area network connection between the two, and then you put conditional forwarders inside each other's domain servers to DNS servers to point to the DNS server for the other organization. And that way you can have name resolution all the way across the now two combined networks. So that's how you configure forwarders and conditional forwarders in DNS.